Welcome, fellow travelers and adventure seekers. Today, we're taking you on an extraordinary journey to one of the most intriguing and lesser-known island nations in the Pacific, Nauru. But before we dive into the hidden wonders of the world's third smallest country, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So you don't miss out on any of our exciting travel videos. Now, let's uncover the secrets of Nauru together. Nauru is a small yet intriguing island nation with a unique history and culture. Here are some interesting facts about the country. Nauru is the smallest island nation in the world, with a land area of only 21 square kilometers, 8.1 square miles. Nauru's distinctive oval shape is surrounded by a coral reef, which creates a natural barrier and limits access to the island. The highest point on the island is only 71 meters, 233 feet, above sea level. Nauru has its own language, Nauruan, which is spoken by the majority of its population. English is also widely spoken and serves as the country's official language for administrative purposes. Nauru was once one of the richest countries in the world per capita, thanks to its vast phosphate reserves. However, the exploitation of these resources has left the island's environment severely damaged. Unusual Time Zone Nauru is located in the UTC plus 1-2 time zone but does not observe daylight saving time. As a result, it is one of the first places in the world to greet the new year. No armed forces, Nauru does not have a standing army. In case of emergency or external threat, the country relies on Australia for its defense under an informal agreement. Weightlifting Champions Despite its small population, Nauru has produced a number of world-class weightlifters who have competed in international competitions, including the Olympics. Nauru lacks many natural resources, including fresh water, arable land, and sustainable energy sources. The island relies heavily on imported goods, including food and water. No public transport. Nauru does not have a public transportation system. Most residents rely on private vehicles or bicycles to get around the small island. Single circuit road. Nauru has only one main road, which circles the entire island. This 19-kilometer, 12-mile, road allows residents and visitors to travel around the island with ease. World's Smallest Republic At the time of its independence in 1968, Nauru was the smallest independent republic in the world. It held this title until the independence of Palau in 1994. Distinctive Flag Nauru's flag features a blue background representing the Pacific Ocean, a yellow line symbolizing the equator, and a white 12-pointed star representing the 12 original tribes of Nauru. While Nauru may not be a traditional tourist destination, it has a few attractions and unique experiences to offer for adventurous travelers who are interested in exploring off-the-beaten-path locations. Here are some tourist attractions and activities in Nauru. Anabare Bay is one of Nauru's most beautiful and pristine beaches, with clear waters and a picturesque shoreline. It's an excellent spot for swimming, sunbathing, and enjoying the island's natural beauty. The coral reef surrounding Nauru offers opportunities for scuba diving and snorkeling. Visitors can explore the diverse marine life, including colorful fish, sea turtles, and various coral species. As the highest point on the island, Command Ridge offers panoramic views of Nauru and the surrounding ocean. It is also the site of World War II relics, including Japanese guns and bunkers, providing a glimpse into the island's wartime history. The Central Plateau, also known as the Top Side, is the site of Nauru's former phosphate mines. While the environmental damage caused by mining is evident, it offers a unique and stark landscape for exploration and photography. Buada Lagoon This picturesque, freshwater lagoon is surrounded by palm trees and lush vegetation. Buada Lagoon is a popular spot for picnics and relaxation, offering a peaceful escape from the island's heat. Yaren is the unofficial capital of Nauru and the location of the island's main government buildings and international airport. Visitors can explore the district to learn more about Nauru's history and culture. Nauru Museum This small museum showcases the history, culture, and environment of Nauru. It is an excellent place to gain a deeper understanding of the island and its people. Local Sports Nauruans are passionate about sports, particularly Australian rules football and weightlifting. Visitors can attend local matches or competitions to experience the island's vibrant sports culture. While Nauru may not offer the same range of attractions and amenities as more popular tourist destinations, it provides a unique and authentic experience for those looking to explore a lesser-known corner of the world. Before visiting, it's essential to be aware of the limited infrastructure, such as accommodations and transportation options, and plan accordingly. Additionally, it's crucial to be respectful of the local environment and culture to ensure a positive experience for both visitors and residents. 
The tourism industry in Nauru is quite limited compared to other countries, primarily due to its remote location, small size, and lack of well-known tourist attractions. The island nation has not developed a significant tourism infrastructure, and the number of visitors it receives each year is relatively low. Accommodation options are limited to a small number of guest houses and hotels, such as the Menon Hotel and the ODN Iwo Hotel. There are no luxury resorts or large hotel chains on the island. Dining options are also limited, with a few local restaurants and eateries offering traditional Nauruan and international dishes. Transportation options within Nauru are scarce. There is no public transportation system, and visitors typically rely on private cars, taxis, or bicycles to get around the island. Nauru's International Airport, Nauru International Airport, is served by a small number of regional carriers, primarily Nauru Airlines, which offers flights to and from Australia, Fiji, and other Pacific Island countries. Given its limited tourism infrastructure, Nauru primarily attracts niche travelers, such as those interested in exploring remote and lesser-known destinations, as well as researchers, diplomats, and professionals working on short-term assignments. While the tourism industry is not a significant economic driver for Nauru at present, there is potential for future development, particularly in the area of sustainable and ecotourism, by focusing on preserving its natural environment and promoting cultural experiences. Nauru could attract more visitors interested in responsible travel and authentic experiences. However, any expansion of the tourism industry must be balanced with the need to protect the island's fragile ecosystems and unique cultural heritage. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of Nauru, the hidden gem of the Pacific. We hope you enjoyed learning about its captivating history, unique culture, and breathtaking natural beauty. If you're inspired to uncover more of the world's lesser-known destinations, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next adventure. Until then, happy travels and see you in the next video.